Hello ladies and gentlemen, Michael here. Today I'm going to show you how to increase your Total War gaming performance. Not by much, but making it more stable and uh, reaching a higher minimum frame count. So what do does that mean? Just means instead of dropping down to 30 FPS, you'll drop down to 40 FPS. Um, let me show you what you can achieve. Uh, it's uh, not that much, but um, it could be, potentially. So I have uh, uh, benchmarks of the games Rome 2 and Three Kingdoms, both set to the highest possible settings. But please note that in Three Kingdoms, you have a higher men count per unit than in Rome 2 on highest settings. So here we have the results for Rome 2. We see that we jump from 59 minimum frames to 62 minimum frames. And in general, it feels like a smoother experience. So the increase is not so much for Rome 2. However, it's more so for um, Three Kingdoms. We see we have a minimum frame count of 38, and then we jump up to 45, 46 maybe. So an increase of seven to eight frames per second, uh, you know, minimal frames per second. And that's quite substantial. Makes, uh, makes it feel uh, less stuttery, less slow, just smooth, right? Just makes it feel smooth and good. That's all we want, right? So how do we do that? We'll have to know how many threads we have. For that, open up your task manager and then go to performance. In here, you'll find the CPU sub tab and information regarding your CPU. For me, I have eight logical processes because I have hyperthreading. If you don't have that, the core value and the logical processor value will match. So if you have four cores, you'll only have four uh, logical processes. With hyperthreading, you get double. So having said that, that's how you find it. Pretty straightforward. You might you might have to look for for the, the resource monitor and open that up instead. Um, depends on what Windows you're using. Having said that, let's go find that file, shall we? Open up your file explorer and then navigate to the View tab. For Windows 10 users, it's pretty straightforward. Just check file name extensions and hidden items. They have to be checked, otherwise we don't find the file. Well, technically you don't need uh, the uh, first one, but you do need the uh, hidden items. For older Windows users, you have to find an option called changed, uh, Change Folder and Search Options, then navigate to view again same deal you'll find the same two options in here show hidden uh, files and folders and unhide the extensions or known file types if you've done that then let's uh let's go find that file now open up your users um a folder and in there you'll find your name one this is where it gets interesting. If you don't have the hidden items checked, you don't see the app data folder, which we have to open. And in here, you'll just uh, open up roaming and you'll find the creative assemblies um, folder. You'll find many games, whichever you have installed. It doesn't matter which it is. They all have the same um, structure, right? All you have to do is open the game you want the better performance for and just find the scripts folder, right? There's a single file in there, the script file. Open it up with the editor of your choice. For me, it's Notepad++. And um, if you have the feature of pressing Control F and opening it up with this sub window, you can find um, the uh, the value much quicker. Just type in thread and uh, go through it by pressing um, enter. It'll find every possible line with the word thread, uh, thread in it. So that's a quick way of finding things. Here it is. That's the thing we want to change. Uh, number of threads. Now, usually it's set to zero like that. Because that means the game will automatically um, set the uh, amount of threads. But that means not your whole CPU will be used and it'll sit at what? 
you know, when you open up your task manager and you're wondering why the hell does my CPU only go to 50%? Well, that's the reason it's not using the full potential. Um, because there are other things that need the CPU. But if you're gaming, you want that to the highest number possible. For me, it's eight logical processes. So I go with the number eight. Save, start the game, enjoy a better performance for the game. And that's about it. That's all you need to do. Change a single value. Now, you can also play with other, you know, graphical settings and all of that, which will increase uh, performance. But that's not the point of this video today because they're pretty obvious, right? This is a less obvious increase in performance, as you can see here. And it's a quite substantial one too, right? So, I hope you liked the video. I hope you could follow. I hope I wasn't too fast. Uh, leave like a feedback or something. I just wanted to make this video show and, uh, you know, quick and dirty. Again, thanks for tuning in and enjoy your better gaming performance. Bye.